What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It's your girl, Rachel, and I've had um, a really busy day today, and I just thought that I would open some mail with you guys real quick. And another thing that I wanted to do today, because I don't have a long time for filming, because I have a business slash social engagement it's going to be happening this weekend and I want to look nice so your girls have been busy all day long doing her nails so I've got one hand done and then the other hand I haven't put the decals on them yet so we're at the halfway mark oh I see a note in here I got my stupid airpod in I never remember to take it out oh my goodness this looks absolutely yummy. I hope she doesn't mind me reading this. Uh, Dear Rachel and Casey, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to send you a little something to hopefully brighten your quarantine. I've sent some small goodies, including a crochet donkey's tail. That sounds so cute already. Two crochet hanging baskets, some cactus pins, and a little notepad. I am always so happy to see your posts and they've definitely helped me during everything going on thank you for being amazing stay safe and god bless from kim planties in a bunch 19. this looks really cute you guys okay so right on top oh my gosh this is so cute right on top it's okay winston everything's fine it's this little cactus notepad here and it says bloom where you are planted on it and that is really cute and let me show you how like on the money you are where's the one i just bought here's the one i just bought let me show you how on the same page we are i literally just bought this for myself so thank you that is right up my alley i love it there's like a little cactus pin with it and everything cute little cacti super cute Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> Little cactus pins. Can you see it? Get it out of the light so much. Oh my gosh. You guys, that is cute. This is like a crochet plant hanger. Get your life. Look at that. You guys, it's like a really soft, woolly type of material. It's like a 70s pattern. Oh, the work that went into this. I love homemade stuff. Wow, that is so cool. So like either I could stick like a globe terrarium thing in there or I could just stick a straight up pot in there, get the hook up here and just hang it. That is cute, you guys. Oh my God. It's a little crocheted donkey's tail, you guys. It's the donkey's tail that I won't be able to kill. I think I've killed two of them so far. Oh my gosh, you guys. Is that not the cutest little thing? That is freaking adorable. I love it. Thank you so much. And then there's like a little mini, looky, looky. Wait, I can put my air plant in here. It's a little tiny plant hanger. Look, <laughs> hang on, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can make it go in there. You wanna go in there, buddy. I'm telling you, trust me. Just for like a cute little Instagram post, get your damn life. <gasps> that is too cute, oh my God. Thank you so much, Kim. At Planties in a Bunch 19, I will put her Instagram down here on the bottom of the screen so that you guys can find her. She just sent me this out of the kindness of her heart, and I'm telling you guys, if it wasn't for these pandy packages, I do not know where I would be right now, legitimately. Okay, so that was the box I got in the mail. I've got a plant swap coming up, and with Planting the World, I've got a plant swap coming up with Planting the World Red, and her name is Ashley, and she actually won one of our prizes from our live that we did recently. So I mailed her her prize, and I also mailed her some stuff to trade. So she should be sending me back 
Hers should be here tomorrow. And then I've got a couple of other packages arriving from some other people tomorrow. So I guess I'll be doing that one tomorrow. So I cannot freaking wait to hang up my cute little crochet things. It's so soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. Okay, so besides that today, what I've been doing is my nails. So I've got this really cool, I'm gonna show you. Where did I put everything? And if you're not in the nails, that's fine. You can just skip through this. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show like a couple of new leaves that are happening right now in my bedroom. So bye. Um, but for those of you who are interested, here is my new set. Can you see those? They've got, can you ID the plant here? It's like a Monstera adansonii maybe. Can you see? Not me, my nails. Oh, that's the new thing that I've done. I've got some Bojangles on there, of course, and stuff like that. And here is my hand that I've been working on all morning. And I just, and it, it's still like dusty and crusty, so don't be judging me and all that stuff, but I haven't put the decals on it just yet, but I wanted to show you guys these decals. So pretty sweet. So check that out. Can you see it? It's like tropical plants vibes and that's what I put, that's what I overlaid on top of my nails. So I did my left hand, which is the easy hand to do because you do it with your right hand because that's my dominant hand. I did my left hand and I started at like 10 o'clock last night and I only did these four fingers. And then this morning I woke up and did my thumb, only my thumb for some reason. And then this afternoon I got busy. I got chocolate on them. I got busy, um, you know, doing other shit. So, but anyways, this is what I've got to do this afternoon. I got to finish up my nails and I need to do my hair. So that's a lot that I need to get done today. So today's video is just going to be like a, What's up? You know, we opened some plant mail together. Kind of telling you what I'm planning to do with my nails. Also, if you guys are interested in learning how to do your own nails, and I'm, I might get some questions in the comment section about it, you should hit up a channel that's called Nao Nails. And that's how I learned how to do my own acrylics and stuff like that. Because you ain't going to catch a whole lot of people out here with a manicure during this pandy. So if you want to stand out and you've got some extra time on your hands, why not, why not give it a shot? Jenna Marbles did it. You can do it too. Okay, so this is just a little update on this little philodendron brantianum that a friend of mine from Instagram sent to me not too long ago, and it's got a bunch of new leaves coming out on it. Let me spin it around. You guys can see that pretty new leaf. Look at you, buddy. Look at you, you're doing good. You guys are doing good. You can see that is my new leaf coming in right there on my ace of spades everything over here desperately needs to be watered what's new welcome to my garden this is the um syngonium long form long fellow something along that nature i need to give him a stake but that's some new leaves on him I kind of struggle with spider mites on this guy so if you see something on the leaves that's probably what it is so there's the new little baby leaf on my Anthurium Red Crystallinum that I got from NSE Tropicals, and I should have got two because your girl's having a rough time with this. And this will be like a reflection of like how well things are going over here. This is another seedling right here. And that's its newest leaf right there, but your girl didn't fill up her humidifiers for like quite a while. And look what happened to this. This is mainly the reason why I'm filming this video. Look what happened to this leaf right here. Spin you around. Check out this wonky little turd bird. Look at that. That ain't even close to being right. Look at how shriveled that is. Look at mommy missed a watering when that leaf was coming out and damn if it didn't screw it all up. Look. This leaf was so twisted, so twisted and so screwed up when it came out that the new leaf departed from the stem completely and just went straight up. So that's pretty unusual behavior. That's what happens when you don't water and fill your humidifier like you're supposed to. Okay, and then right back here we have our Big Mac Daddy. Look at him, isn't he beautiful? That's the Anthurium Magnificum that Cody sent to me. That new leaf is actually starting to harden off now and it is looking gorgeous. 
gorgeous. We have a little Macoyana back here that someone from Instagram sent to me. I think his name was Justin. That is another Crystallinum seedling, Crystallinum crossed with Magnificum seedling that I got from NSC Tropical and this is the new leaf that it put out. You know, real wonky too. Everything is just not doing super good right now. Springtime, huh? Go figure. This is my little variegated African violet. I took a couple of cuttings of that bad boy and sent those out with some of my winners from our plant trivia game. And back behind there is my Raphidophora tetrasperma and it's the uh, non-tissue culture variety and it is just growing way beyond the bounds of its pot here underneath the shelf. Then we have this beautiful monstera leaf right here. Unfortunately, it's not a new leaf. It's the same leaf that it's had for quite some time and the reason being, I potted it up in a really super tiny pot, see? And the aerial roots are just like crawling out already. It's like, let me out. It does not want to be in there. So no new leaf on this guy yet, but still we've got midrib holes and everything like that. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. This beautiful baby right here is my new leaf on my philodendron El Chaco Red. Isn't that gorgeous? Hand for size. She's a big girl. Definitely, it's way bigger than my head for sure. And it's just bouncy and all full of sass. And look at her, she's just shaking around, showing her stuff. Gorgeous, gorgeous leaf. It's actually starting to be backlit a little bit by that evening sun that's coming in and pushing these veins out. Ugh, I just sit in my chair and stare at that one. Gorgeous, 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 worth every penny. Philodendron El Chaco Red. I also wanted to give you guys a little update on my Marble Queen that I have like growing down the side of the pole right here. And you can see like how thick the stalk is getting as it's going down. You can see, look, that is thick. Your girl is thick. And look at how big some of these leaves are. Like that's a Marble Queen leaf. Look how big that is huge bra so i'm just gonna keep like connecting it you know connecting it to this thing down here and then when she gets to the bottom i'll train her all the way back up yeah that's what we're gonna do variegated alocasia out there she's trying to look cute putting out her new leaf right there in the middle it looks like a almost half moon leaf i don't deserve half moon leaves so almost half moon and that is the newest blood red leaf on my variegated sea hibiscus down there super beautiful always bringing the pop of color to my little indoor oasis down here so i'm loving the new pink leaves it's like every time it puts out a new leaf it's blood red or baby pink Here's my Monstera that Casey sat on, but that leaf right there, that leaf right there is even closer now to coming fully out than it was the last time I showed you, which was the last video I made, so sorry for the repeat material. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would like to present to you my first ever set of Hoya Blooms, and they're absolutely gorgeous, and they smell like butterscotch. I've got the hands of a surgeon. Can you tell? Uh, they look like little jelly bean flowers. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life, and I'm officially a Hoya O now and just wanted to tell you guys that because I have blooms now. All right, bye. There's a whole bunch of teeny tiny little baby variegated string of heart leaves coming out on my little production line here. Everybody's producing. Everybody's doing a good job. Everything looks nice. I love the teeny, teeny little hearts that come off this. Look at that thing. That's a perfect little heart. So freaking cute. Don't look at that dead leaf back there. Focus on the hearts. There you go. This is my Melanocrysum varicosum. It's got a new leaf that's just like hanging on my little uh, arrow jewelry holder thing. So that's the new leaf coming out on that guy. Then we've got a, a new leaf coming out on the Melanocrysum that I tore the new leaf off of with my hoodie. That was fun times, but it's got a new leaf coming in on it. This is the newest leaf on my Pseudo Varicosum. Oh, she's a beauty. Golly, look at that. Look at the veination. Lord have mercy. And uh, let's see, there is the new leaf 
coming in on my Esmeralda ends up there. Just a size reference of how big this guy's getting. That's the newest leaf right there. And then that's our new leaf coming in right there. And then right there is my newest fibrosum leaf coming out. And that's after I just repotted um, this fibrosum here. So it's actually sitting on our dresser and it's growing all the way up. And that's the new booger right there. Getting close to the light, but we still got a ways to go. So no worries, no stressing just yet. And last but not least, this is the other new leaf on my other variegated Monstera. And it also has a new leaf coming in right there on the back. Yeah, that doesn't look good. I'll have to pump you some more light, sweetheart. That's the last one. No more. That's I'm done now. Thank you guys so much for coming to my bedroom and checking out some of the plant mail that I got from Kim. She's such a sweetheart. And also for coming to see some new leaves that are happening in my bedroom right now. You got a little bit of a nail update. It was a smorgasbord. You're welcome. We will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. Later taters. Bye.